Tonight, we witness a turning point in Southeast Asian defense. Manila is set to become the first international customer for South Korea's KF-21 Borame fighter jet. This isn't just a hardware deal, it's a bold statement from the Philippines and a major win for South Korea's defense industry. The agreement, expected soon, involves the advanced KF-21 Block II, with deliveries as early as 2028. For the Philippines, this means a leap from a modest air force to a credible deterrent. For South Korea, it cements its status as a global arms exporter. The KF-21, or Young Hawk, is a 4.5-generation fighter, bridging the gap between legacy jets and modern stealth aircraft. The Philippines' move signals a new era, one of modern, self-reliant defense. This comes amid rising tensions in the South China Sea, where the Philippines faces increasing pressure. The current Air Force is outmatched, but the KF-21 changes the equation. It sends a clear message. The Philippines is serious about defending its sovereignty. This decision will ripple across the region, influencing strategic calculations everywhere. The world is watching as the Philippines steps up. The KF-21's arrival marks a shift away from outdated, second-hand equipment. It's a step toward a modern, capable air force. The skies over Southeast Asia are about to change. The Bormai will lead that transformation. This is more than a purchase. It's a declaration of intent. The Philippines is investing in its future security. Regional powers will have to take notice. The ambition behind this project is remarkable. The silhouette of the Borame may soon define the region's airspace. A new era in Philippine defense is about to begin. What is the KF-21 Borame? It's a twin-engine, multi-role fighter developed by Korea Aerospace Industries. Designed for both the Korean Air Force and export, it's not a full stealth jet, but a 4.5-generation aircraft with reduced radar signature. The Borame features advanced electronics, a powerful AESA radar, and an IRST system for passive target tracking. The Block II variant, headed to the Philippines, brings full air-to-ground capability and can launch long-range missiles like the Meteor. This transforms it from a defensive fighter to a true multi-role platform. The jet's design balances performance, cost, and maintainability, cheaper than an F-35, but still highly advanced. Its twin engines offer reliability, crucial for patrolling the Philippines' vast maritime territory. The KF-21 is built to be a dependable workhorse for 21st century challenges. For the Philippines, it's a leap in capability, air superiority, strategic strike, and surveillance in one package. The Borame is ready to establish dominance in the region's skies. It's a new hawk, poised for action. The Philippines is set to field a fighter that rivals the best in the world. This acquisition is about more than technology. It's about deterrence and national pride. The KF-21 will be the backbone of a modernized Philippine Air Force. It's a symbol of ambition and progress. The sky is no longer the limit. The delivery timeline for the KF-21 is stunning. First, jets could arrive in the Philippines by 2028. Normally, export customers wait years for new fighters, but South Korea is breaking the mold. The KF-21 program has moved rapidly, with prototypes flying since 2022 and rigorous testing underway. South Korea's efficient engineering and digital design have kept the project on track. By offering early delivery, Seoul gives the Philippines a powerful incentive, no long waits like with the F-16 or Grapen. The Block II variant, still in development, is promised on schedule, showing KAI's confidence. This is more than a promise. It's a guarantee of cutting-edge capability when the Philippines needs it most. The accelerated timeline is a strategic move, setting the KF-21 apart from its rivals. For the Philippines, it means rapid modernization. For South Korea, it's proof of world-class defense manufacturing. The future is arriving faster than anyone expected. The Philippines is jumping to the front of the line. The Philippines, an archipelago of over 7,000 islands, sits at a strategic crossroads in the Western Pacific. Tensions in the South China Sea have escalated, with frequent confrontations at sea. The Philippine Air Force, until recently, lacked supersonic fighters. Now it needs more than light combat jets. The goal isn't to match superpowers, but to establish a minimum credible defense. 
a squadron of KF-21s would raise the cost of aggression, making adversaries think twice. Advanced sensors and long-range missiles will let the Philippines monitor and defend its vast territory. The KF-21 isn't just for external threats, it can support disaster response and internal security. Its speed and range mean rapid response anywhere in the archipelago. Modern air power is now a matter of national survival. The urgency is clear sovereignty and security are at stake. The KF-21 is the tool the Philippines needs to protect its future. The stakes have never been higher. The Philippines weighed the F-16 Viper and Saab Gripen before choosing the KF-21. The F-16 is proven and interoperable with U.S. forces. The Gripen is efficient and affordable. But the KF-21 stands out as a clean sheet, 21st century design with low observable features. It's stealthier than its rivals, offering better survivability. Twin engines provide safety for maritime patrols, and its sensors rival or surpass the latest F-16 and Gripen. Early delivery and a strategic partnership with South Korea sealed the deal. The KF-21 isn't just a fighter, it's a leap into the future of air combat. For the Philippines, it's about more than performance. It's about building a modern air force. The Boramai offers a unique blend of technology, reliability, and opportunity. This is a generational upgrade. The future of Philippine air power starts here. South Korea's rapid KF-21 rollout is no accident. It's the result of a smart, staged production strategy. KAI uses block upgrades, delivering basic jets first, then adding capabilities over time. Block 1 focuses on air-to-air -air combat. Block 2, offered to the Philippines, brings full air-to-ground capability. This approach reduces risk and gets jets into service quickly. Parallel development teams keep the program moving fast. Future Block 3 upgrades could add true stealth and more advanced systems. For the Philippines, this means buying into a platform that will keep evolving. The KF-21 isn't a dead end, it's an ecosystem for decades of growth. The jet delivered in 2028 is just the beginning. This strategy ensures long-term value and adaptability. The Boramai is built for the future. The KF-21 deal is built on decades of trust between the Philippines and South Korea. The Philippines supported South Korea in the Korean War, forging a lasting bond. In recent years, South Korea has become a key supplier of military hardware to Manila. The F-A-50 jets restored supersonic capability to the Philippine Air Force, earning praise for performance and reliability. The Philippine Navy's most modern warships were also built in South Korea. This track record makes South Korea a preferred defense partner. The KF-21 deal is not just a transaction, it's the next step in a deep strategic partnership. Trust and proven delivery lower the risks for Manila. The relationship is about more than hardware, it's about shared security goals. The Borame is a symbol of enduring cooperation. The path to KF-21s in Philippine colors isn't without obstacles. U.S.-sourced components require export approval, and political delays could impact delivery. As the first export customer, the Philippines faces unknowns. New platforms can have teething issues. The financial commitment is massive, requiring stable funding and public support. Economic or political shifts could threaten the project. Integration is another challenge. Pilots, ground crews, and infrastructure must all be upgraded. The leap from FA-50 to KF-21 is significant, demanding investment in training and facilities. Success depends on more than just the jets. It's about people and planning. The risks are real, but so are the rewards. The Philippines must navigate these challenges to realize the Boramai's promise. The future hinges on execution. If the Philippines overcomes these hurdles, the KF-21 will transform its air force. For the first time, it will field a fighter that can challenge the region's best. The Boramay's advanced systems give Philippine pilots real authority in the skies. This acquisition will reshape Southeast Asia's strategic landscape. The Philippines becomes a more valuable ally and a tougher adversary. It's about more than hardware. It's a shift in mindset and a declaration of self-reliance. The KF-21 is a bet on the future of the economy, the partnership with South Korea, and the Air Force itself. 
If successful, the Boramai will symbolize a confident, capable Philippines. It will guard the nation's skies and help secure peace in the Indo-Pacific. The young hawk is ready to soar, and the world will be watching.